tail of the tape of our next contest. Bradley Heeson and Calvin Thompson, an all UK affair here under Muay Thai rules at 71 kilos. We'll send it up to the ring right now in Ritas Kuzmenka. Ladies and gentlemen, Fight Box Korea Hero Series 2019 in London, live on Fight Box. KOK Super Fight, Blue Corner, fight representing England, Bradley Hayson. Well, it's been a great show so far, ladies and gentlemen. We go back to Muay Thai rules here in the York Hall, and the promoter here in London, Happy Bakshelia before the event said it feels fantastic to be back in the iconic, uh, the iconic York Hall again. And as you know, the York Hall is the epitome of boxing and combat sports. So having another event here in the York Hall was an easy decision to make. Daniel, the York Hall is, is steeped in tradition, and I mean, and it's virtually unchanged as well. When you and I were talking before the event, you said you could feel the atmosphere, you could feel the history of the building. Now, there's more modern venues, there's bigger venues, but nothing with the history that means so much to so many fighters. And fighters that love boxing, I mean, let's be honest, many of our top kickboxing K1 MMA fighters, their first love was boxing, they were brought up on it. And everybody here knows of the York Hall. And everybody here wants to say, yeah, I fought at the York Hall. It gives you almost like a credibility. Right. And you and I were talking before, and you said just looking at it, you could feel the history. Yeah. If the walls could talk here, I'm sure they would have plenty to say. Here tonight plays host the King of Kings kickboxing. And uh, this one, however, will be under Muay Thai rules as uh, Bradley Heeson ready to make his entrance here. Boy, he is certainly taking his time coming out here, isn't he? I'm not sure if he got lost in the locker room here. You know, this place is so old. I don't know if they can even, uh, maybe they need a little WD-40 on the hinges of the doors. Let me just tell you, Daniel, when you go backstage, because I said I I've, been th I've been here as a coach with fighters, the changing rooms, they're dotted all over the place. They're these little rooms. It's the York Hall, and it's got all that history. But when you come here actually to do business and you go back to the changing rooms and you realize there's all these little rooms dotted about at the back, you jump, but you can easily get lost. Or he's just milking the atmosphere of his big television moment and saying, do you know what? I'm going to make the best of this. This is all about me now. And why not? Well, this is a big moment for both of these guys here. Uh, the biggest stage that they've fought on so far. Houston is four and two in his career with one knockout. And uh, what's interesting to me, he's gonna have an 11 centimeter height disadvantage in this contest is the southpaw. And here we go, he's ready to come down to the ringside area accompanied by uh, his coach and uh, another good fighter from the KO gym. Now this is Robertas Kostas of Lithuania. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, fighter representing England, Kalum Nuren. Well, I did hear a rumor earlier on that uh, one of the fighters was going to pull out. Maybe that's the case here. Uh, but right now in the ring, we do have Robertas Kotas of Lithuania, and he'll be fighting Callum Mullen in this contest. So either they change the fight order, uh, or one of the fights at the very last minute has literally uh, been called off, maybe because of an illness of one of the fighters. I don't know. As far as we know, when we went on the air, that fight was scheduled to take place. If something's happened in a locker room that we're not aware of, uh, then that is still news to me. Well, that would also explain the delay in right. the fighter coming out, um, because, Daniel, we were saying, was he milking it, was he... And maybe that's because in the back scenes, as you said, it, it's been a late call-off, because, as you said, that is Robertus Kotas there from Lithuania in the blue corner. So I think you're right there. The delay was for the fact that um, Bradley Heeson or Calvin Thompson, one or the other, couldn't make it, so we've gone yeah. to the next bout. And again, as you mentioned um, in the build-up to this, very exciting because we've got young Callum Mullum, who's a name on the tips of many people's tongues here in this country. Callum Mullen was uh, a superstar as a teenager, the number one ranked MMA fighter in England. This one will be under 
Muay Thai, or other uh, kickboxing rules, excuse me. And so I've got to wonder, is this a fight just for him to polish his stand-up? Does he plan on uh, pursuing a, a stand-up career? We'll have to wait and see. It should be exciting either way. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the blue corner, 32 years old. Official height, 180 centimeter, official weight, 71 kilogram. His professional record, two wins, no losses. But this man and prize man of international fighting events, representing Pitbull Fighter Clans, Lithuania, Robertas Kotas. Fighting out of the red corner, 20 years old, official height 180 centimeters, official weight 71 kilogram. His professional record, two wins, no losses. Participant and prizeman of international fighting events, representing AVG Gym England, Kalu Mule. Regreferi Darius Kalouis, KOK rules, three rounds, three minutes each. Well, even the referee is working up a sweat in that last contest here. It is a warm one here in the UK. It's not raining, believe it or not. And uh, the hot ring lights, the TV lights shining on these two as we get ready for our next contest. 71 kilos is the weight limit. KOK rules in effect. Robertas Kotas of Lithuania with the red gloves on. And Callum Mullen, the cookie killer with the blue gloves. Here we go. And immediately switches to that southpaw stance, Callum. As a big high round kick from Roberta sets out his stall early. And look at the size differential between these two. Mullen just looks much, much bigger in there. Well, you, well, you look, Danny, as if you, you feel that Mullen probably had to cut for this weight, whereas oh! um, Robertas is, is very comfortable and, and just at the, the upper bracket of this weight naturally. Two brutal body kicks from the left side going in from the Englishman. He's looking for it again there, just out of range that time. Well, you mentioned earlier wh whether or not he was using this just to warm up for his MMA, but I feel, unless you're signed, um, contracted to a, to a huge organization, it's something you can do now. You can switch quite readily and rapidly between disciplines to hone them all. And I think at just 20, Callum's got plenty of time to do that. Sure. Of course, Kota's from Lithuania, sort of, uh, uh, let's say, the home country of King of Kings. We were just there in March where they had about 11,000 fans in attendance. Kotas lives here. Oh my, he's being bounced around in there like a pinball and down goes Kotas. He's not being counted here, but he got rocked by a knee. Look at the ribcage just under the, the right there because that was a right hand, then a jumping right knee and already the ribcage showing the bruising there. And I was just about to say that have you noticed the subtle way that Callum Mullen is keeping the pressure on him? He really is pressuring. And a right hand Robertas. lands as well from the Lithuanian, but eats another body kick. There it is again. Mullen Callum. just ruthless with that kick. He's walking through him. He's taking the shots to really land heavy power shots. He's walking through Robertas at the moment. And you can see the damage to the body already. And I think Robertas was lucky not to get a count with that, that knee because he it was, was the right hand. Lucky. And then the knee landed cleanly. But you can see he's breathing heavily. That's not a lack of fitness. That's the pressure this young man has constantly put on him from the moment the round started. Well, he's a little bit discombobulated in there right now. I saw him stumbling a little bit. He'll make it to the end of round one, I think, but it's going to be a rocky road. Here's the problem Whoa. for him. Well, that was a slip when he threw his own kick. But here's the problem. Oh, there's the knee. He just wanders forward with it and throws it. And he's smiling now, which says he's hurt. The problem for Robertus is Callum has walked through everything with an indifferent look on his face to throw his power shots. Nothing Robertus has thrown. There's been some good stuff coming from him. It just hasn't faced the youngster. It must be so disheartening. Right. Kotas did get through with a couple of shots to the head there in round one, but uh, Mullum so far still looking as sharp as he ever did in the beginning of the round. This is the problem for Robertus. He looks calm, he looks composed. He, hard, he hasn't broken sweat. He just literally has not broken sweat. Oh, he got the knee right he there. Felt that. He there got it right in the same spot. He got it right at the bottom of the ribcage again, right there at the end of the round.
And he is lucky that he's not being counted right now. Daniel, we've seen this alluded to twice previously in the round. We felt the first one should have been a count. Then what happens is Callum walks through Robertus's work. He threw a right in the neutral corner and then he threw that knee perfectly again. And this time you thought Robertus had taken it, then he turns away and the pain is there to see. Robertus started with that superb high round kick, but Callum kept the pressure on him the whole time. Walks through anything Roberta throws at him, and here we go. There's the right hand, there's the right knee. That's oh. a count, that's a count. Well, I'll tell you what, he got absolutely brutalized right here, right in this point of round number one. He was just getting brutalized, and I think that they're gonna call the contest off here. The blue corner has thrown in the towel, and this one is history. Roberta's Cota is not gonna be allowed by his tournament to come out here for round number two. And for me, Callum Mullen has just enhanced his reputation, Daniel. That was such a composed performance, such subtle pressure to keep on his man. And the way he walked through work to get his own work done, we saw that, that the warning signs were there for Robertus with the knee earlier. But that's one thing, but to throw them so cleanly and so effectively and so hard, and, and look the pain at this now. he's in. He can barely even breathe, still. Uh, and that's a good call by his corner, not to let him go out and receive any further punishment because uh, he's still in pretty rough shape. And look at the amount of sweat on Callum. It's just beginning to bead on him there at the end of such a hard round. This young man could be the next big thing at just 20 years of age. Look at him at 20. It looks like the great red spot of Jupiter growing and developing under his red pectoral muscle. Let's get the official word. Ladies and gentlemen, Fightbox Series 2019 in London. A life on Fightbox. After first round, by technical knockout, the winner is Red Corner, Callum Mullen, England! What an impressive performance by the cookie killer, Callum Mullen, just brutalizing Robertas Cotas here in a surprise bout uh, after the, I believe, the, the previous bout was canceled at the last minute, literally at the last minute, just maybe a few hours ago. And uh, Callum Mullen saving the day for us here, putting on a very, very intriguing fight here. And up next, we go to 77 kilos in the main event of the first part of the evening, the Fightbox KOK Hero Series, folks. We'll be right back after this. <laughs>